That's a terrible attempt. By now, I should be a pro. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and it reminds me that this is my school. In one word, is I say welcoming. Culture. Second home. <laughs> That's two words. It's a compound word. <laughs> Dragon! <laughs> Uh, multicultural? Community is all. Community, community, yeah. Yes, definitely community. Um, diversity, uh, global citizen. Safe. I think it's an important safe, thing. Safe, yeah. yeah. Very safe. It's true. I feel safe in this environment and I come here and I feel like, oh, I've come to my home. It's the school that has made me feel that Beijing is home. Warm feelings, warm thoughts. Uh, when it comes to ISB and I still feel like, you know, it is my home. I always go back there. It's always so comfortable. It feels like home. It's home for me. And a, a big part of that is, is ISB. <laughs> uh, but when you go to ISB, I had such a good group of friends and such a great environment that it was so easy to stay. And I think it's a really big factor into why I'm still here. I think ISB gave me, first of all, the comfort to move into China, right? And then you gain so much confidence by just being around an environment that's so friendly that staying in China felt like something so natural, right? Rather than just kind of heading back out. I graduated ISB in 2007. You know, looking back, I'm really glad I stayed in, in touch and the alumni community has grown. It's become a lot more uh, mature now. We connect through the alumni network um, and yeah and, and I've been to a few alumni events around the world. In, in fact um, one of my most memorable ones was actually going to Mr. Green's house and I know Mr. Green's a bit of a celebrity uh, amongst the alumni community I guess with all the students he takes which is uh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, my name is Sario Kim and I am uh, a member of the first graduating class. We were the Great Wall graduating class of 1993. What I was really glad to see after I came back to ISB as a parent is that it's a much more bigger school with bigger, you know, many more faculty members and staff. But what hasn't changed is that nurturing environment and the caring community. So I, uh, I went to high school uh, at ISB in the 90s. Uh, so Beijing was very different then than it is today. But uh, I love it. And started actually ISB in, uh, in kindergarten in 1989. And then uh, I graduated in 2002, so class of 02. So coming back to China, having the opportunity to come back to ISB and serve was, was really unique. Matthias is, was the first ever alumni trustee. Uh, we were on the same soccer team back uh, in the 90s uh, at ISB. So um, after his term was finished, he tapped me on the shoulder and said, um, there's a position open. Uh, if you're interested, please let me know. And that's kind of how that seed was sown and, and how I ended up getting involved. So my name is Camille Chang. I'm a Hong Kong Olympic swimmer. I graduated from ISB in 2011, but I was here from fourth grade to 12th grade. Part of you know coming back and part of what I hope to offer is for them to know that you can take the sport further, whatever it is. And you know, I took it to a really high level and high intensity going to Division I school, but there are plenty other options and paths that you can go. I'm glad to hear that swimming is still like a big sport here at ISB. So I came here from kindergarten um, and I, I've sort of been in ISB my whole life. My goal is always to um, just sort of like do something that my younger self would have appreciated, right? So I think to some degree, um, 
you know, helping students at ISB is something that I always wanted to do. We would love to offer um, an opportunity for um, an interested student to, to do some work experience with us. Um, given the area as well, um, the fact that we, there are so many multilingual students here, I think that would be massively beneficial both for us and potentially for them. I think it's always key to always come back there, always give back to um, the younger people. But yeah, today I'm back here to really just speak with um, the seniors uh, on the alumni panel and hopefully give them a little bit of advice and guidance uh, around you know, university applications and uh, what to expect. I graduated high school at ISB. I served as the writer in residence at ISB and so I did workshops in the elementary, middle and high school. Now I'm back at ISB taking some art from the elementary school and uh, selecting some student writing and art to be published in this new elementary journal which is um, kind of a joint uh, publication between ISB and Inkbeat which is the, the organization that I run. The alumni to provide that kind of mentoring, the professional guidance as well but I think it's just uh, maybe from both sides, the professional and the personal side of things. Trying to keep in touch more often, um, even for a, not even just on a social level, I mean on a professional level. It's the resources amongst ISB graduates. There's an incredible amount of resources. I would even say it's one of the rare networks that uh, could be very helpful professionally. Kids that are coming out of school today will, will be those building bridges and creating a better world for tomorrow. For the alumni at from ISB, our fellow dragons, so once a dragon, always a dragon. Um, give back. I, I know we're spread across the whole planet. I know we're in all corners of the globe, but we're in a very digital, digitalized world today. So find a way to give back, either your time, your expertise, um, your experiences, uh, anything. Try to reconnect because there's a whole community that can really benefit from that. Give back to an institution that's given so much to all of us. I really love to hear from former students. And even if you've been here, to see how it still continues to grow. Uh, I think it's an opportunity to come back and see what the results of what, you know, they were all part of it. You know, like, what, what they did here all leads to what we're doing now. Um, like, they're on the other side now. So they have that unique perspective that the kids who are still in school don't have. And I think that's a valuable thing that they can come bring back, talk to them about, well, here's what it's really like. You know, you've been told this, you've been told this, but here's how it actually goes. I'm always happy to talk to former students. Uh, it's fun for me, and I think uh, current students enjoy it too.